Over the last 10 years, the Centum share price has moved from 8 shillings per share to now 28 shillings per share. And at some point, even peaked at 65 shillings per share. So it's fair to say that the Centum share price, since James came in, became the CEO of the Centum Group, has grown by more than 3.5 times. So James will be explaining to us how this all happened. My name is Payaz Mushiri Mugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. James Mori, welcome again. Thank you. Yes, so I note one thing that you are one of the top uh, 10 shareholders in Centum. Yes. Basically means to me, as an outsider or someone out there, yeah. is you put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. What is your personal opinion on the Centum share price today? Okay, so thank you for that question. If you look at my actions, uh, I bought, I essentially took most of what I have earned over the last 10 years and I've invested it in, in Centum. I would say at least more than 90% of mm -hmm. my total earnings I invested in, in Centum. And I bought Centum shares between 50 shillings and 65 shillings. Mm. And at that time, I thought it was a good buy. Mm. So today at 28, it's a far better buy because mm. the net asset value per share has continued mm. to grow. Mm. So I've taken a long-term view mm. on, on the organization. Mm. I, know it, I know it very, very well intimately. Mm. And what constrains me from buying more shares mm. is that I've literally put every, most of what I've earned mm. into the into the company into the into the company mm. and um, at the current price which i think is very low yeah is not reflective of the underlying value yeah in fact if i look at my 10 years one thing i wish was better i wish the price was more reflective of yeah. of, of, of the valuation of mm. the company mm. largely because we have various shareholders whom we wish to exit mm. and if they were to exit today they will not be able to realize their full their full value mm. So it's one of the things for me that is on my bucket of areas of improvement. What mm. can we do to, mm. you know, to improve? Mm. And, and we're doing various things. Uh, of course, there's a market conditions. Mm. But my nature, I prefer to focus not on my circle of uh, concern, but on my circle of influence. Mm. I don't want to be, I can blame the market and many other things, but mm. that's not the issue. The issue mm. is what more can we do? Mm. And so trying to do our best, mm. I, I think the the price now reflects a wonderful mm. uh, opportunity yeah. uh, to buy into the into the growth mm. of the of the company mm. and uh, as i get uh, resources uh, from various places mm. Mm. for me there's no better opportunity today mm. than to buy more shares of uh, of centum yeah yeah so you spoke about the nav per share or the book value yeah and today we are 28 what is the nav per share today so the net asset value per share is about 72 shillings per share. Yeah. And the net asset value is in itself a very conservative estimate of the underlying intrinsic value of the company. Yeah. So here what we've done is conservatively valued all the all the underlying assets of the company. Yeah. Less the debt of the company. Yeah. Divided by the number of shares outstanding. So yeah. we arrive at 72 72 shillings and and the reason i know it's conservative and the evidence of the conservativeness mm. is that every exit we've made mm. has been at a significantly higher price than the current value so mm. we are deliberately uh, conservative so mm. that's the net asset value so mm. if you are to liquidate the company mm. and pay the debt holders and mm. distribute the cash left to every shareholder mm. every shareholder will get about 72 shillings mm. and uh, today you'd buy the share for 28 mm. shillings mm. So there's already a gap there mm. of almost uh, 40, 45 shillings, mm. which is a huge margin of safety for anyone coming and yeah. buying the price today. Yeah. And that does not count, that 72 shillings does not count the brand of the company, mm. the management team that we have in place, mm. and the growth prospects of mm. the organization. Mm. So look, taking all that into account, mm. that's why I'm fairly confident that yeah. it's, it's hugely, hugely uh, undervalued. Undervalued, yeah. You know, it's an interesting point that you mentioned that even at 72 shillings per share, if yeah. it was trading there, yeah. it would still not be valuing the brand and yeah. and the team and all yeah. the others. And still at 28 shillings. Yeah. 
So there are quite a number of investors or shareholders who've taken a bet with you on the company. And um, I want to imagine out there they're saying, what is James uh, going to be doing in the next couple of years to to reduce the, the gap between the book value per share and, yeah. and uh, yeah. the current share price? Yeah. What would be your message to them? You know, you know, one of my favorite books is by Bill Walsh. Yes. And his book was The Score Will Eventually Take Care of Itself. You yeah. know, if you do the right things yeah. and you focus on it, if we yeah. just focus on making the company better and working on the fundamentals mm. and not being complacent, and mm. that's what we're doing now, mm. my belief is that the score will eventually take care of itself. Mm. So we're doing, I don't want to focus on empty PR. Mm. Uh, I want my energy dedicated into mm. the nuts and bolts of improving mm. every company in our portfolio. That's true. So that it's a better organization. Yeah. Uh, and improving its ability to grow, mm. uh, generate a, a higher return on uh, in, in invested uh, capital, yeah. improve its cash flow generation ability, mm. improve the capabilities of its team, yeah. reduce the risk. Those are the fundamentals. Yeah. And that's what occupies me 90% of my time here yeah. is on the underlying portfolio businesses we have. Yeah. On the real estate side is developing it, putting a team together, mm. uh, enhancing the the productivity of those mm. those assets. I mm. think that's what I'm focusing on. Mm. And my, my belief is that eventually the score will take care of itself. Yeah, uh, yeah. When? I don't know. But yeah. I think soon it will take care of itself. Yeah. 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 No, I, I like that. Yeah. Focus on the substance and yeah. not the, yeah. the fragrance. Yeah. The score will eventually take, take care of itself. itself. Yeah. My name is Paz Mushiri Mugo. Thank you for watching. You're watching Invest in Africa. Yeah.